So Visionary Render uh, really does give us a lot of benefit. It's a tool that we can uh, load up very, very quickly, even some of the very, very large data sets that, that, that we use and allows us to get to the nub of the problem that we're dealing with at the time very, very quickly, which a lot of other tools just, just can't do. We're moving into an environment, into an age where we've got extended value chains. And to be able to use Visionary Render 2 to communicate across those value chains between different actors and different continents, use it between different actors using different devices, you know, is really, really powerful. We see it being used for design reviews in fundamental first stage design. We then look at it for use in training aspects. So we're looking at virtual prototyping, but then we're seeing it connecting to internet of things, devices, getting real-time data streamed into the digital twin. So we're seeing it extending now from being just used as part of the design process throughout the whole life cycle. They then take this model and they keep it updated and it becomes a living asset. So one of the great things about Vision Render 2 is that we can import your data even faster. So in three minutes, we've imported this data into a 3D environment and it is now fully interactive within the 3D space. So what we've been able to do three hours after import is add some detail to the model itself. We've also animated, done some basic animations with the turbine blades. And we've also put the model in a scene that gives it some context and understanding. So in the three days, what we've been able to do is add some serious customization to this model. That includes having this user interface up here, uh, that can take you to viewpoints, it can take you to the sections, it can turn off and on the animations. What we've also been able to do is enhance the animations with this particle effect, which is a new feature of the Visionary Render 2. We've also included a very nicely rendered environment and a dashboard here showing speed of the turbine, temperature of the turbine. What we've also done with this model is digital twin it to the real thing. So all the sensory data comes through, and if we click on an individual part, you can see that we are given live data of the real thing.